uh, about another mile up the road, and I passed a couple before I got to this one. But uh, Harbor Plaza, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, looks like nine, maybe ten stores. And the only thing I see in here is a casino and a dentist. There's the dentist office in the corner corner space. It says a sweepstakes casino. I don't know if this place actually uh, it looks empty to me. Yep, empty. Probably recently closed. It says here salon open, but uh, I don't see anything. This place is probably uh, you know, three, maybe four years old. 204 is empty. 205 is empty. 206 empty. 207 empty. 208 empty. 209 empty. 210 empty. And this is another building here. Uh, nothing. 103, 104, 105. Here's a uniform place that's in here. One's empty, one ten is empty. We'll get a view from the. Well, this is a pretty, pretty good size. Uh, pretty good size plaza, and then there's some space up here that they could have built something and nothing. But, uh, I mean, this is a, a very common sight down in this part of Florida. text message me. Yeah, that little spot I showed was a one acre parcel that they are trying to sell as well. Again, we'll get a distance. Upscale Retail Center, Harbor Plaza. There's not much upscale about that place. And across the road here is a uh, development that they were at least smart enough to never, or they didn't have enough money to ever get the, their shovels in the ground. But that's actually a mini road to nowhere there. That's uh, There's fire hydrants in there, and the lot lines, and the electrical stuff. It's all in the ground. And uh, it never happened. I see this uh, designed and engineered by Quatron and Associates. I see quite a few of their signs here in this area. And uh, so they made a lot of money engineering and designing this stuff that never got built. You can see there's some housing developments back behind there. That's apparently a 10 acre development for the sign. Maybe you can see the fire hydrants, maybe you can't. like 